So I took this old laptop out of the graveyard and infused it with life again. This is an old laptop that came with Windows uh, Vista. But as we know, Windows Vista is pretty bloated. The hardware requirements are very hefty, and even then, the system performs poorly. So I gave this thing life again by using my favorite Linux distribution, Arch Linux. And on top, I loaded uh, LXDE, one of the available uh, desktop environment uh, choices that we have uh, with Linux. Um, so after that, I just loaded the applications that I am going to use this computer for, and I'm done. System runs 80% faster, uh, no more crashes, no more viruses, uh, nothing. A system is as useful as the applications loaded into the system, specifically the, the application that you're going to eventually use the computer for. It makes no sense that you pay, I don't know, $3,000, $1,000, whatever it is for a computer that, that comes with no useful applications. Most of the time, we spend a bunch of money on a computer that has nothing on it that we can use. What do we do? We end up going on the internet, download a couple applications, uh, then load it, then use the computer based on those applications. Something that we could have done have we done something like I, like I just did. Load uh, plain, reliable Linux. Load those same application, which in 90% of the cases is a web browser, maybe a, uh, I don't know, a, a torrent streamer, uh, music, Simple stuff that could be done on anything, not necessarily uh, a proprietary system such as a Mac or a Windows system. All right. So the application of the systems are the one that makes the computer um, useful. Linux is not uh, Mac. Linux is not uh, Windows. A lot of users I see, uh, even even users that have influence, they write, report, they they broadcast videos all over the place, saying silly things like uh, I don't know uh, how bad uh, Linux is, how it is not Windows, how it is not Mac, but that's obvious. It is not. Um, this comes from a silly person. Uh, loading a version of Linux into their system, then trying very hard, oh, I don't know if it's very hard, but trying at least to make it look like Mac or making it look like Windows. This is very uh, moronic. This is weird. If you like Windows, stay with Windows. If you like Mac, stay with Mac. Why you want to go around, load Linux, try to make it look like something that you cannot make it look like, then cry like a baby and complain when you fail miserably. Okay? Stop that crap. Linux is not for you. Linux is for power users, users that are not afraid, have the time, and have the knowledge to customize the system and make it useful. Install whatever it is they want. Whatever you have on your own system, a Linux user could make could run on this system and make it work. Even if it takes compiling the code all over again and reloading it and make it work. Just a matter of time and dedication and know-how, okay? Most Mac and Windows users, they don't know a lot of stuff. Okay, if you run Win or Linux, it's because you know what you're doing. Already, so don't do a stupid stuff and then complain. Period. In fact, um, uh, we often hear and read, "Oh, Linux this, Linux sucks, Linux never going to be used, whatever, whatever," by people who that who have no idea what they're talking about. I give you some example. The Macintosh you're using is a desktop environment. Underneath, guess what? Guess what it is? Is a a customized version of Linux or Unix, whatever you want to call it. Maybe they don't want to call it that because they don't want to be identified by it. But that's what it is. Period. The web, most web uh, servers run Linux or Unix. In fact, fifty-five percent of the websites that you visit. Are being hosted on a Linux server. The component that connect the internet, that route the signal from one part of the country to another side of the planet, is running a customized 
a stream down, strip down version of Unix or some kind of Nux, whatever you want to call it, Linux, Phoenix, Cisco, whatever it is. Um, Sonic Wall, Cradle Point, your 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 home DSL router, your smart TV, your DVR, your smart car, your cell phone, Android, whatever is running a customized a stripped down version of guess what of Linux, smartass. All right, so everybody, almost everybody, use Linux without knowing. Okay, simple. Um, so this is my let me let me now. I don't want to start a fight here for 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 some stuff. Most people don't know this, so they're going to be very defensive because they don't know. So they want to defend their ignorance by probably saying some stupid crap. But whatever. Um, so this is a pretty cool system, very light. Um, as you see on my screen, I have the applications that I only use this computer for and nothing else, which is one of the most attractive uh, areas. There's many of them, maybe all of it is, but the most for me at least about Arch is that you can customize it to only include the things that you want and nothing else. This is not provided by any other distribution, be it Windows, Linux, whatever it is. Arch allows you to only install the things you need and nothing else. Maybe you don't want to install the GUI. Then once you install the best or the base OS, you've done. You can make it into a file server, print server, mail server, web server, whatever kind of server you want, and that's it. But if you want to use it interactively, then you have so many options or, or when it comes to the desktop environment of choice. You could go from something very light like uh, LXDE, or you could go for something very like hefty, very bloated. Uh, like KDE or GNOME. And I'm not saying blur in a bad way. It means that these applications come with a subset of applications and settings that makes the computer useful at the end, which is what we want. If your computer is not useful, it's the opposite, it's useless. Okay, and we don't want a useless system, which a lot of time we end up paying a lot of money for a computer, probably perhaps a Mac or Windows or even maybe a Unix based system that comes in with a lot of stuff in it, but we don't use it. We don't either we don't know how to use it or we don't have the need for it. So it's useless. What do we do? We go online, download a couple of applications, whichever they this may this may be. It could be something like this, like VLC or Vocal Screen in this case, or Deluge or Deluge, whatever you want to call it, for for uh, torrent downloading. And then your computer becomes useful. Maybe it could be a video streaming you know, or music streaming that you want to load then the computer becomes uh, useful. So you spend all that money and time, uh, probably borrow money or credit card money that you don't even have, and now you're paying for something that you're not even using. You end up getting some free uh, software to use your computer, and that's all you basically do. Okay, I've seen a lot of uh, uh, people that have a fancy computer that they pay three thousand dollars for. They sit at an internet cafe so other people could watch them. I don't know, chat or, I don't know, blog, whatever it is, okay? What a freaking stupid thing to do. So anyway, I have a terminal, I have VLC, I have Walker Screen, the program that I'm using to record this session. I have this, my my um, uh, torrent client. I have Sublime, which is an excellent uh, uh, coded, uh, for coders, um, text editor. And I have KD, uh, KDN Live, which is uh, a video and audio editing tool. Already, um, if you know about Arch, you know Arch is a, um, a rolling release system, and what that means is that once you install Arch, you don't have to update uh, the core ever again. You just uh, run updates uh, as often as you want to, and install the updates that you want, and nothing more. All right, that way you keep the system light. Um, and useful for as long as you want to. Okay, so you don't have to like uninstall because a new version of Arch came over. You don't have to. Alrighty, just load updates, and uh, that's it. Enjoy. And again, I'm not saying that this is the only um, distribution that you could that you should try it on your system. You should try whatever you want. Load them all of all of them, and then find the one you you want. For me, this this one is Arch, and I have tried. Believe me, all of them, and they're all excellent. But the one that matches me, who I am is uh, Arch. So again, um, uh, this is not a what's best, what's not, you know, not best, a comparison. Uh, this is simply a way um, of uh, taking an old system and extending uh, its life, okay, extending its longevity by loading a system such as this and, you know, um, giving it to a friend, giving it, I don't know, to a non-for-profit, 
um, somebody brings you a computer that you uh, should do work with and instead of loading for example I don't know Windows and some proprietary application you can simply load uh, your favorite uh, version of Linux and give it back to them I'm sure they'll be uh, extremely happy since mainly the application that they'll be using the most will be maybe Firefox with perhaps Java and Flash uh, enable say they could view um, web contents and that's it you don't need anything anything fancy alrighty so thanks for watching and I hope this video has been uh, informative thanks again